Welcome to Kosovo! Woohoo! Welcome to Kosovo! These guys are being fed in about half an hour and they're clearly waiting. Oh boy, this is going to be fun! And I think we're ready to go and explore Skopje. Yes, baby, let's do it! Is that the kale dance? <laughs> <laughs> Interesting how they create this old style and just sort of mixing it up with modern buildings. What are you buying these? Some sausages. Sausages. Oh, can I have the pink sausages? Huh? Oops. Welcome to our channel. We're Andre and Lisa. Over the last 20 years, we have traveled together to more than 40 countries. Five years ago, we embarked on a long-term sabbatical and have been nomadic ever since. For most of the past two years, we have been exploring Western Europe with our motorhome. This year, we plan to make our way through Eastern Europe towards Denmark for summer. We'll be heading south for winter and just maybe make it to Morocco. So hit that subscribe button and join our adventure. Welcome to Kosovo! Woohoo! Welcome to Kosovo! Beautiful roads, but... We almost turned around at the border. We knew that we needed to buy insurance when we entered Kosovo because it's not covered as one of the green card countries in our insurance. What we did not expect is for it to cost 77 euro for the shortest period possible. Which is 15 days. Still, it's 5 euros a day, effectively. Now, that's, that's a little bit st steep. Um, when, for an ordinary vehicle, a car costs 15 euro for the same price days. Good news is, for a change, we timed it perfect and I got beautiful new roads and there's no tolls yet. Because I see there's some signs coming soon. The guy told me that all the roads are free, they're brand new that we have to visit at least three of the cities in Kosovo. So maybe this is a, a, a cunning strategy by Kosovo to <laughs> encourage people to stay longer. Now, otherwise we just would have been here for a weekend. Now we're probably going to stay for at least a week, maybe longer. <laughs> so we don't really have fixed plans, but we are going to go see Pristina. We are going to see a few other cities that's got in mind or a few destinations. We're also going to a May Sanctuary that's close by. Maybe that will be our first stop. But damn, look at these roads. For now, we are just enjoying driving these roads. I haven't seen a wow. road like this in years. <laughs> Turn it around. <laughs> This is our first stop. Now, that is a car park for the Pristina Bay Sanctuary. So we're very happy to be able to park here. And they actually call it, hey, are we parking? And the sanctuary is up on that side. Well, it's not a bad spot. And seven o'clock, this place closes. <laughs> and this parking lot actually is private. So that's really nice. The only catch will be if we can find water nearby. Um, <laughs> do you have anything to declare, sir? Well, I don't know. Does uh, Macedonian beer count? Cheers. Drink. Come on, guys. Okay. So we're just going to chill here. Wait for everybody to leave. Mm. Nice, eh? Oh, that's nice. Oh, it's pretty. Pretty, pretty, mm. pretty fun as well. Uh, looking forward to explore Kosovo for a bit. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Go to the bed. Bye. We're going to go check out the base of the sanctuary. Now, this week is actually the 10th anniversary of the sanctuary. All the bears here, of which there are 20 now, oh, wow. have been rescued. Uh, back in the day, people were allowed to keep bears as pets in, in, in this part of the world. And legislation has changed at a certain point. And this is run by Four Paws International. 
and all the bears yell rescue bears. The entrance fee is only two euro fifty. Mm-hmm. It goes to a good cause, and I'm really excited to go and see the bears. It's also a nice restaurant, and this is exactly where we park. You'll, I'll show you the view from this side of the view, a few cars now. I can barely wait. <laughs> This one. Hello. Boy. Rina. Oh, look at this guy. He's like a snow bear. Tom. Tom. There's two over there. Look at having a tussle. my snacks. That's Aww. incredible. So first observation is if you want to come here make sure it's not over the weekend. <laughs> so far we haven't seen another person although there are a few cars in the parking lot and most people at the restaurant at the moment. And it's a fairly big space so people can be spread out. Yeah, so this is uh, some of the conditions they found these bears in and were rescued. Hear a growl. I know, I also can hear it. I can't see it though, I still haven't looked. The rumble. <laughs> now, apparently, they recently received a, a lion that was rescued from captivity oh, as well. Here it is. And the lion's name is Johnny. Johnny. Quite fortunate, we have seen lions in the wild before, and uh, Botswana specifically. He looks very relaxed. Very relaxed. Mm. He's main. He's, he looks like he's trying to blend in with the bears. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Yeah, man. Quite oh. a yawn. I'm bored. I need a girlfriend. I want to chase Springbok in the savannah. Not sure what Johnny's doing in there by himself. That was intense. Wow. Okay, let's go look for some more bears. Ooh. Hello, guys. You mind if I come closer? There's nothing in here. You guys got a nice view. Big, big. Ooh. Okay. Yo, I guess I don't like that guy. Why is that aggro, guys? Wow. Oh, he's big. Gosh, he's oh my enormous. god, he's big. These guys are being fed in about half an hour and they're clearly waiting. Very exciting. So I was dancing around. The other guy's a bit annoyed. He doesn't want anybody to come near him. But they're all brothers. They were born together. And they grew up together. Well, I think it might be a female and two boys. Guy gets his helping. Oh, me first. Oh, my goodness. Check how he stands and eats. Oh, that is incredible. Look at that. That's for the big one. Yeah, you gotta time it, I guess, otherwise the little one doesn't get anything. What is the chicken? Oh, big piece. Oh, my word. He gets the insides. Oh. Wow. <laughs> okay. Oh, little one's oh. like, sorry, pal. Oh. 
He's going to try and get that little piece He's going to get in trouble there. Oh, yes, he's going to get in trouble. He's got a little bit of scraps. He's got a little bit of scraps. He's going to get in trouble. Maybe I've done else. Look at that. Getting all his hands off. You guys had a good meal. That hardly seems worth the excitement. Sure, they were so excited. <laughs> well, there's the bears down there in the valley of the Millie. Wow. Man, look at those. Mm. And I didn't realize you could see the bears from the bottom. Bears. Good morning, welcome back to Kosovo. The weather is not looking fantastic for the rest of the week, but seeing that Kosovo is actually quite a compact country, we decided we're going to drive from here to Pristina. You know, if it doesn't get too late, we might actually come back here because it's so relaxing and dead quiet at night. It's really nice. If we have any chance to avoid a city parking, we will do so. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> so we're on our way to Pristina this morning. It's only... It's 20 kilometers, but there might be a bit of traffic, unfortunately. It's a beautiful drive all the way along this little lake here. Ah, oh, yes, but the traffic, man, the traffic. Where is this right. guy coming from? Let's see. All right. Oh boy, this is going to be fun. Well, that was a exciting. Yeah, quite a hair raising driving into a foreign city. This kind of traffic and <laughs> this kind of a parking lot is super just tight, crazy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Center National Stadium. Now this parking is a 24-hour parking, and you can have a night here if you want to. It's we drove in here and we're like, whoa, this is intensely <laughs> packed. There's a guy here actually walks around and he sort of points people in the right direction and he immediately waves at us. Showed us over. I'll show you the, the parking board quickly. Awesome. Now, Lisa said if she ever goes uh, motorhoming solo, this is what you're going to get. Yes! I want uh, painted orange. I'll make it a different color. Lime green. Tiny little guy. He's, so He's so cute. cute. <laughs> 30 cents an hour for three hours. And then after that, it becomes 150 for 20 hours, maybe. There's not much actually on our itinerary. We're going to look at a monument or two, maybe a statue, a little square. I'll just look around a little bit and get a feel for this sort of inner city of Pristina. Pristina. Ah, oh, we gotta find some Kosovo snacks. Oh, ooh. Ice cream? <laughs> <laughs> this is called the newborn. Now, at the moment, it doesn't actually say newborn. So do you think they actually move the letters around? I haven't seen the letters being moved around before. Normally, it stays newborn, but this has obviously been changed for a reason. It's a political statement and it keeps, they keep changing it, the color keeps changing. You can see it's currently in the Ukrainian flag colors. Oh. So every year it's supposed to be repainted to represent something new. We're going to walk around that area. What happened when I just tried to grab that camera out your hand? <laughs> I don't want to go full ninja. You went complete Wasabi Yagi on me. But this whole area is a walking area. And if you keep going, you get to Mother Teresa Square. How long is now, babe? How long is now? Depends. If you have ice cream in your hand, now is very long. <laughs> How soon is now? You're always out and about. Lovely. Mm. Yes. Now, I'm not sure why there's so many people around on a Tuesday morning. I have no idea and I can't quite figure out. Are these tourists? Are these locals? No. Is it a mixture? This guys. No. It's crazy eating ice cream, right? So I don't know if I can have an ice cream right now. I can tell you what it tastes That's like. That's a happy ice cream. Yes. Cheers. This is like a whipped ice cream. Oh, this looks quite good actually. Mm, yeah, looks good. Very, very rarely do we go yeah, for um, Willy Willies. Okay, verdict, one, two, three. Sprinkles for the win. 
a delicious creamy ice cream, crunchy sprinkles. I'm happy with my happy ice cream. All right. Well, look at this place. Mm. Now, if you, if you don't know, obviously, Kosovo has got a complicated past and still has. It's still a contested territory and politically it's been complicated. It only has proclaimed its sort of independence in... 2008? 2008, yeah. And it's not fully recognized by all countries. Exactly, still an ongoing issue, really. That's partly why we also have to enter Kosovo from... North Macedonia and then return, return. in the same way. We cannot enter Serbia yeah. from Kosovo. If you enter Kosovo and go into Serbia, they deem you to have illegally entered Serbia. <laughs> That's complicated. Already. So I think this is Mother Teresa Square. Mm. These are fun on your ride. That's what we need. Do you think it will fit on the back of a van? Yes. There's oh. nuts and vegetables and seeds. Wow. Yogurt, cheeses, fruits. Nice. I think we found a good a sweet spot. These guys are very, very popular here. This mm. lime, lime green pepper. You get them in all different shapes and, and sizes. Yellow ones too. I would suggest that <laughs> the deeper we go into this market, the more interesting it becomes. I was looking for a sewing machine. You wanted a pressure washer. And there's some jackets. Hey, and uh -huh. supermarket trolleys. What, what's this? What's Even a new on? TV for me. Yeah. Okay, I know we need some pots to redo our bathroom. But I, I didn't realize Pristina is going to be the place to do it. <laughs> I'm not kidding. There's a perfect corner basin. Look at that. Yeah, so we got a crack in our bathroom basin, unfortunately. So we'll have to make a plan with that at some point. <laughs> Andre we'll is just postponing it. <laughs> taping over the hole. So what we'll have to do is rip the top pot off, put a little top on it, maybe cut a hole and put a sunken basin in it. They just don't know how to do it. <clears throat> yeah, we spent a few hours walking around uh, Pristina. Now we're nibbling on the uh, you know, Balkan essential. Pristina is lively. It's very, very lively. It's not exactly what I had in mind. Not no. that I know what I did have in mind. It's got a lot of character. It's actually super nice to just hang out here in this, this area. A lot of restaurants, few shops. Loads of coffee shops. Mm -hmm. If you want to come and sit and have a coffee and watch people go by, this is the place to do it. And if you walk five minutes that way, you sort of more in the local areas, which is cool. Anyway, we're gonna probably not gonna spend much longer here. We're gonna walk through the little shopping mall, and then we're gonna have to find water and a place to park for the night. And maybe some groceries. Oh, we need groceries. We haven't shopped since we left North Macedonia. See later. Boink. Not possibly did Pristina any justice, but a couple of hours walking around, just get a feel for the place. I would say, highlight of Pristina is go and see the bears. <laughs> Half an hour drive. <laughs> no, let's be honest, the city, cities are difficult. I think we've got a few more spots in Kosovo we're going to check out. Let's first go see the fine supermarket and some water. Our introduction into Kosovo has been very, very good. Other than the shock at the border, the roads are incredible. And I think there's a lot to see here in terms of nature. So we're still going to go and try and do a little bit of that. Very good value destination. Obviously, fuel is marginally more expensive than North Macedonia, but still it won't break the bank. And at the end of the day also, it's really great to come into a new country where you have no expectations and just get a bit of a look and a feel for a country. So we're going to end this video here. Uh, in our next video, we're going to explore Kosovo even further. So if you guys like what you see, consider subscribing. Hit that uh, like button. Share this video with a friend. Leave a comment and we'll see you next time in Kosovo. I almost said pushing dead yet, but that's hello. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye.